Welcome to Mathematics with M's Grade 10 Exponents. This video will deal uh, with the uh, revision of Grade 9 Exponents. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Right, in your earlier grades, you were in introduced to the expression a to the power n is equal to a times a times a times n times or n factors and where a represents the base and the exponent and of course a to the power n the power now here is a summary and examples of the exponential laws and definitions the bases are positive and the exponents are integers let's look at law number one a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n that means if you multiply we add the exponents for example 2x to the power 4 times 3x will give you 2 times 3 which is 6 and then of course x to the power 4 times x to the power 1 is x to the power 5 if we use numbers like 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 3 then you say 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 so therefore 3 to the power of 9 which of course is 19,683 look at law number 2a a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n and we prefer m must be greater than n so example y to the power 7 divided by y to the power 4 will be y to the power 3 because it is 7 minus 4 or 6 to the power 6 divided by 6 to the power 4 will be that 6 minus 4 which is 6 to the power 2 which is 36 law number 2b a to the power m divided by a to the power n but now m is less than n so that means i must take m down to the denominator so n minus m like for instance y over 4 y to the power 4 divided by y to the power 7 will be 1 over y to the power 3 because you subtract 4 from 7 and take note there's 1 left in the numerator not nothing 6 to the power 4 over 6 to the power 6 is 1 over 6 to the power 2 because 6 minus 4 is 2 which is 1 over 36 law number 3 a to the power m further raised to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n for instance p to the power 3 to the power 2 will be 3 times 2 which is p to the power of 6 or 5 to the power 5 to the power 5 is 5 times 5 which is 5 to the power 25 Law number 4 a b to the power m is equal to a to the power m times b to the power m so you distribute the m to both the a and the b for example 4x cubed y all squared now remember you don't say 2 times 4 it will be incorrect it is 4 to the power 2 then 2 times the 3 of the x and 2 times the 1 of the y and that gives you 16 x to the power 6 y to the power of 2 or the next one 3 times 6 is 18 and 3 times 8 is 24 so 3 to the power 18 times 3 to the power of 24 law number 5 a divided by b to the power m and again like number four we distribute the m to both the a and the b for example 8d over 12e to the power 3 now you first apply bottom it means you must first simplify what's within the bracket and within the bracket 4 can divide into 8 twice and into 12 thrice and now we say 2 to the power 3 is 8 d to the power 3 3 to the power 3 is 27 e to the power of 3 or the next one 3 times 2 is 2 to the power 6 5 to the power 3 which is 64 over 125 right, let's look at a few definitions a to the power 0 is equal to 1 for instance, 5 to the 5 x to the power 0 plus 2 x to the power 0. So 5 times 1 will be 5 and 2 x both to the power 0 will become a 1. So therefore the answer is 6. Or 6 times 3 to the power 0 is like 6 times 1, which is 6. x to the power negative n is the same as 1 over x to the power positive n. 
For instance, y to the power negative 7 is 1 over y to the power positive 7. Or 4 to the power negative 2 is 1 over 4 to the power 2, which is 1 over 16. Or 3, a x to the power negative n. Now take note, a remains in the numerator, but only x goes down because x got a negative exponent. The same with 3x to the power negative 4. 3 remains up there, and only the x to the power minus 4 goes down. Same with 4.2, 4 times 2 to the power minus 3. The 4 remains up there, and only the 2 to the power minus 3 goes down, which of course is 8, and 4 or 8 is a half. Number 4, ax both to the power minus n, so now both terms will go down. 1 over ax to the power positive n. The same with 2x to the power minus 3. Both terms will go down and becomes 2, 1 over 2x to the power plus 3, which of course is 8x to the power 3. 4 times 2 to the power minus 2, so both of them go down, and therefore it is 1 over 64. Number 5, 1 over x to the power minus n. To make it positive, it goes up to the numerator. It becomes x to the power n over 1, but we normally don't show the 1. 1 over 8 to the power minus 5 is 8 to the power plus 5. 1 over 5 to the power minus 3 is 5 to the power plus 3, which is 125. Number 6, a over x to the power negative n. So the x goes up, become a to the power, a x power positive n. Same with 7 over y to the power negative 6. So the y to the power minus 6 goes up, becomes y to the power plus 6. Same with 3 to the power negative 2 goes up, becomes 3 to the power positive 2, which of course will be 18. Number 7, 1 over a x to the power minus n. Take note, a haven't got a negative exponent, so a goes nowhere, but x to the power minus n goes up. Same with 1 over 8x p to the power negative 9. 8 is positive, so therefore only the p to the power minus 9 goes up. 1 over 5 times 3 power minus 2, the 5, and got, 5 do have a positive exponent, so only the 3 to the power minus 2 goes up. And that gives you 9 over 5, which of course is 1 and 4 fifths. Number 8, 1 over a x to the power negative n. So take note, both a and x are under the influence of the negative n, so both those terms goes up. 1 over 2 to the power, 2m to the power minus 4, so both of them goes up, becomes positive 4, which of course is 16m to the power 4. Take note, not 8, 16. 1 over 3 times 2 to the power minus 2, so both of them goes up, it becomes plus 2, which of course is 6 squared, which is 36. Number 9, 8 a over b to the power minus n, so you just switch b and a, and it becomes a positive n. So a goes down and b goes up. Same with 5x over 4y, you just switch the numerator and the denominator, and the exponent becomes positive. The same with 2 over 7, just switch 2 over 7, and the minus 2 becomes a plus 2. Number 10, the same here, 8 to the power, min 8 to the power minus m goes down, b to the power negative n goes up, and there you are. So 8 power minus 5, b to the power minus 8, over 6 to the power minus 6, d to the power 2. So both the a and the b must go down. The c goes up, but the d is going nowhere. 2 to the power minus 3 over 4 times 3 to the power minus 2. So the 2 to the power minus 3 goes down. The 3 to the power minus 2 goes up, but the 4 is going nowhere. Let's look at some other rules. 1 to the power n is the same as 1 times 1 times 1 n times. So in other words, 1 to any power will always remain 1. Even 1 to the power 368, for instance, becomes 1. For instance, 80 minus 79 is 1, and 1 to the power 1000 is 1. Negative 8 to the power n is the same as 8 to the power n if n is even. Take note, if n is an even number, then a becomes positive. For instance, negative 3 to the power 4 becomes a positive 81. Negative 1 to the power 2016 becomes a positive 1. Minus 2x cubed to the power 6. So you split the 2, so you get minus 2 to the power 6 times x to the power 18, which of course becomes positive 2 to the power 6. x to the power 18, which is 64, x to the power 18. 
but now if it's odd then it will keep the negative for instance minus 3 to the power 5 will remain minus 243 minus 1 to the power 2017 will remain minus minus 2 x cubed to the power 5 the same year minus 2 to the power 5 will remain negative so therefore, negative 32x to the power of 15. Right, let's look at the following examples. A, simplify. So 16 squared times 3 squared to the power 4 over 2 to the power 7 times 2 to the power 5 times 81. So 16 squared, 16 is the same as 2 to the power 4. So therefore, it gives you 2 to the power 8. 3 squared, the 2 times 4 is 8, so it gives you 3 to the power 8. And at the bottom, 2 to the power 7 times 2 to the power 5 is, and of course, uh, 8 on its own is 3 to the power 4. So therefore, 7 plus 5 is 12, and 2 to the power 12, and 3 to the power 4. And now, of course, 2 to the power 8 must come down, and you get 12 minus 8, which is 4. And 3 to the power 4 goes up. That gives you 8 minus 4, which is 3 to the power 4. So therefore, 81 over 16. If you look at B, 2x to the power 4, multiply the x and the 4, gives you 2 to the power 4x. 9 is 3x, 3 squared, so it's 3 to the power 2x. 12, of course, is 2 squared times 3. Remember, 4 times 3, 2 squared times 3, which, of course, if you distribute the 2x into the bracket, you get 2 to the power 4x times 3 to the power 2x. Remember, 3 got a 1 as an exponent. And then all of them will cancel, and therefore the answer is not 0, but 1. Then C, 16 is, of course, is 2 to the power 4. So be careful now. So it becomes 2 to the power 4x minus 4. Not 4x minus 1. Please take note. 32 is 2 to the power 5. Right? So therefore, 2 to the power 4x minus 4 over 2 to the power 4x plus 5. Then both 4x goes up and 5 goes up and they become negative. And therefore, the 4x will cancel and minus plus 5 is 1. So therefore, 2 to the power of 1. Right, it is important that you must work through this exercise so that you can practice and make sure that you still remember the rules and the laws and definitions of exponents. The solutions are on the next page. It is important that you must work through all the examples from the previous two pages and then use this page to mark your work. It is important that you should do this. Hi, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Please make sure you give me a huge like and subscribe. And remember, subscription is free.